like to proceed my poem this evening with a brief synopsis pertaining to why I wrote this piece. I was named after a Native American legend of the Lakota tribe. The man who I was named after was called Tonwea, and he revered the bald eagle, for they had saved his life when once he was stranded alone on a cliff. I wrote this poem to give honor to and celebrate the bald eagle, not merely as the totemic form of Tonwea, but more importantly, as the national symbol of America. Ladies and gentlemen, for your consideration, elevation of the eagles. Ooh. On the currents of the four winds, the eagles ride the sky, held aloft by unseen hands that dare us to defy. Far below lies our cities with towers that touch the clouds, while the elevation of the eagles covers us in shrouds. Majestic and elevated, bald eagles, the illuminating force, soaring to the zenith, they guide us to the source. The celestial eagle of a cosmic space emanates fusions of creation, transcendent sphere of a luminary intellect, creative essence of the imagination. Influx of asymmetrical energy flows from a source hidden above, while the eidetic visionaries perfect the aesthetics of love. Emerging as the infinite and that which perceives all, essence of the primordial humans before the cataclysmic fall. Transient is the physical sphere of this and ephemeral universe. Symbolic imprints of a higher dimension, dimensional imprints of sonic verse. Alphas and astral bodies receive messages by way of the American dream, communication with the celestial by truly invisible means. The inception was born of vastness and returns the body to a state of bliss. For the visionary path cast dreams to the light, swift as a thief dashing through the night. Only the central sun may govern the entire earth, radiating as the stars at the inception of the cosmic birth. For as we seek beyond these three dimensionalities of space and time, virtual realities emerge from the mind. Symmetrical inversions shift above luminescent skies, generating semantic shaped lies. In these lies, a woman's seduction may arise, and perhaps a fleeting moment of wandering eyes. The stellar parallax displaces the axioms into the realms of a surrealist land, while revolutions of the rational thought are as weightless as a grain of sand. The spoken word illuminates a cosmic interface, revealing the mysteries to be most true, endless as the expanse of interstellar space, and yet intangible as the ocean blue. A celestial star within a symmetrical space reveals itself as the imagination, radiating light in every direction by way of the feminine fixation. Through the forces of sensual attraction, externalities are brought within the labyrinths of the mind there to be reshaped by the creative intellect and manipulated into a similar kind. For geodesic minds, they glide over the waves of the ocean as a breeze of luminescent air, for they embody the most beautiful of virtues, daring us to be kind and fair. For each moment of brilliance in a fourth dimensional space reflects a multivalent spark seeking unification with grace. While skillful intellects may have a propensity to deceive and coerce, visionaries seek to lead us through the labyrinths of planet Earth. Those guided by darkness seek a world of all things profane, and yet those guided by light seek knowledge of the most arcane. Extending our hopes to a fourth dimensional space and emerging cathexis may be the case. Cyclical dilations 
of Mother Earth's rotations, visionary creations, and brilliant translations. Because our perceptible sensations await symbolic representations of the blue woman's gaze, receding ever deeper into an expanding maze of scarlet drapes under which illusion baits, bid she arrive and attain luminous conceptions of visionary gates. The quest of the luminaries is guided by the moonlight, domain of a nuclear intellect of great power and insight. Surpassing anything one could ever believe, America could be ours if we could only conceive. Architects and designers may understand my voice forever from the inside as one day the worlds of opposing polarities are destined to collide. Shield us from this collision as we endure a fierce, a fierce resistance. Guide us toward the holographic reality scattered all throughout existence. For the bald eagles are greater than anything I desire. And as I cast my ambitions to their soaring wings, the American nation I will inspire. Thank you.